Hey everybody, so today I decided to tackle the, if you've ever wondered what's in that corner, I think I've said that I live in a basement before, so that's beneath the staircase and I have a bookcase under there, as well as my shoes and a big storage bin with a cover, so I'm just gonna go through there right now, I'm gonna take out the books, I know I have books under there from, yeah, so I have books under there for my kids, like, books for school that they've done already i have us um one of my kids is in grade six and one is in grade four so i'm pretty sure i have old school books under there and i probably have like storybooks and activity coloring books that sort of thing that they have outgrown and what i'm gonna do with the books is that i'm gonna i'm gonna bring them over to the salvation army because i guess if they take stuff for um clothing and stuff uh, you think maybe they'll take the books as well or even if they won't take them they might be able to tell me what I can do with the books because like the textbooks I'm pretty sure um, they can help um, some students somewhere even though my kids have written in them in some places they're not all entirely done so I think they are still usable and then if they don't want them and they don't they can't refer me to a home or something that would take them then of course I'll just throw them away and then of course there are things under there that I'm gonna have to throw away also so if you're into these types of videos I'm decluttering and just trying to make my home lighter trying to implement some feng shui so if you're into that sort of stuff then let's get on over there and get the clutter these books needed to go but they were not on the bookshelf with the rest of the books so I just kind of took them out before I went over there. So you'll see me holding up some of the books to the camera, kinda-ish. I was attempting to show you the grades for some of the books. So there are, like, there are a couple of grade 1 books and grade 2 and grade 3 books. There are even some kindergarten books, guys. Like, that's how long these books have been under here. So I'm really glad I took the time to take them out. I was counting them at some point and kind of trying to show you guys what I was doing. But then I decided to speed this up after watching it and after hearing the audio. I did find some books down there that belong to my mom and so those went back on the bookshelf and you'll see me putting them back but I found a number of books um, that my kids have no use for I even found like two of the same projects so I'm assuming that I did one and then two years later I did another one I didn't realize that I had put that one back to be used again but yep and i found duplicate books too for both of the boys so which even happened this year i bought some books for the younger one that i had that i was keeping from when the older one was in fourth grade that box that you just saw me with in my hand it's actually a lint shaver that i have that i couldn't find the plug and i think i threw it out not too long ago and now i found the plug so the um the Victoria's Secrets bag right here. I'm just putting some garbage in there, random pieces of paper, um, old notebooks and stuff. And then I ended up finding more garbage and realized that I actually needed to go and get a bigger bag. And you can see this bag keeps falling over. I also found a big happy planner down there that I have that I probably used like two pages out of. I think I purchased that when I just started planning a couple years ago and it didn't really stick. See one other project down there with the beads on it? Yeah, that's one of them. It was something to, for math class for them to use for counting or addition or something like that. So you can see me putting the books back now and just going through them one last time. I'm putting the ones that I believe are from my mom back down on the last shelf since I don't use down there like I use anything over there and I'm going to get a garbage bag here we go garbage bag for all the garbage
that's a wrap you guys i finished i cleared out two boxes of books and probably a quarter bag of paper waste um in that i think that's a three liter garbage bag so here are the items that i'm going to be getting rid of and you'll see me drop these off or whatever in a vlog somewhere down the line thank you for spending this time with me and you will see me in the next one. Bye.